Hi, Dr. Keith Javery with Javery Pain Institute, and I want to give you some information about IV conscious sedation. Conscious sedation, which we perform intravenously when it's medically necessary in order to make our patients more safe for more effective, safe, and more comfortable experience for your procedure to try to help you with your chronic pain. Now, IV or intravenous, which means through the vein, conscious sedation is just that. It's medicine that's placed through the vein, into the vein, to where it produces a level of conscious sedation, meaning the patient does their own breathing, they produce their own blood pressure, they can respond, and they can talk. All right, Mike, how you feeling? Yes, I'm good, I'm ready. All right, nice and comfortable, good. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna place this again under the x-ray. But many of the times, they don't remember very much. Sometimes they remember a little, sometimes they remember more. But all the time, they're much more comfortable with the intravenous conscious sedation than they are without it. So Mike, how's it going with these injections? It, they, they work good, that's good. helping. All right, excellent, excellent. So, what but, was it, you were telling me something going on? Yeah, they're helping with work. I, I, I mean, I got promoted, actually. Oh, great, good for you, that's awesome. So they are helping you quite a bit. That's fantastic. Sometimes it's not necessary. And if it's not medically necessary, it doesn't need to be done. We utilize local anesthesia to make you very comfortable from beginning to end. IV conscious sedation does have risks, just like anything else. And those risks and their benefits, if it is medically necessary, will be discussed with you by your medical provider or your physician in charge of your care. We're all done. Not too bad, was it? Oh, it's over? Yep. No, right. this is fine. All right, good. All right, we're going to get you transferred to the other room. Thank you. Many patients confuse or conflate the difference between intravenous conscious sedation versus general anesthesia. Now, as an interventional pain specialist who also is board certified in anesthesiology, there is a very big difference between IV conscious sedation and general anesthesia. The main difference, and it's a big one, is that general anesthesia is what is usually performed when you have more of a traditional surgery. Heart surgery, intestinal surgery, hip replacement, surgeries that do require the patient to be completely unconscious. But to render a patient completely unconscious, the anesthesiologist needs to breathe for the patient needs to help the patient with their blood pressure, their heart rate, and provide a variety of physiological and other vital bodily support systems to where we support breathing, respiration, blood pressure, and at the same time, render the patient completely unconscious. Now that's a very, very different procedure than IV conscious sedation, which is what sometimes is medically required here at Javery Pain Institute when you receive certain pain procedures to keep you comfortable during those procedures. Conscious sedation is just that. It's intravenous medicine used to keep you conscious to where you're breathing on your own and you're supporting your own airway and we don't have to help you breathe, but yet you're comfortable the procedure goes smoothly, and sometimes you remember, sometimes you don't, as seen with Michael. Hey, Mike, how you doing? All right, I'm doing all right, yeah. Yeah, the procedure went really good. Oh, we did it? Yeah, we're all done. Oh, no kid. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty cool, that was easy. Did I tell you, I got promoted even. Yeah, actually you did, you did tell me. Congratulations. Did I tell you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought I remember talking something, but I don't, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, no, don't worry. You didn't let me know any secret. Don't worry. But hey, congratulations on the job. I'm glad these are working for you. Uh, all right, thank all you. Right. So listen, we'll see you in a few weeks. Check back up with you. Sounds good. See you in about a few months. Okay, yeah, a few weeks, but that's okay. okay. <laughs> all right. Who was very comfortable, didn't even recollect much of the procedure, 
although he thinks he remembers telling me something about that job promotion, which, by the way, I congratulated him on, but he didn't remember very much, but yet he was sedated and yet very comfortable during the entire procedure.